Welcome to Always in Escrow with Colby Burchin and Serena Appel. Hello, Colby. Serena, how are you doing today? I am fantastic because we are speaking to a group that is really so purposeful and driven. We're speaking to the co-founders of Men Giving Back, an organization that is funding grants to South Palm Beach area charities with a focus on education, children, food stability, and mental health services. Today on the show, we are introducing Eddie Ventrice, the Managing Director of Wealth Management at UBS Financial Services, and Dr. Nathan Nackless is a world-renowned South Florida-based surgeon with a specialty in nose, sinus, facial plastic, and reconstructive surgery. Team, welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. You know, Boca is small. And if you're, you've been around and we've been around, it's, I know these guys at least 20 years, 20 plus years. Um, they are both philanthropic. They both are just generous guys. So I'm going to just dive right into it. Eddie, how, how did you and Nathan formalize this? Like, how did it start? What was the inspiration behind it? First of all, there's a woman's impact 100. Uh, that's that's local that has 700 members and there was always talk of starting a men impact 100 in that same area and there's not enough there hasn't been enough ground roots movement i would say to actually get that started so we've kind of talked back and forth about trying to do this and again we're all busy in our, our, our daily lives um and i think around the pandemic time we basically said we're going to you know give this a shot and, you know, we know a lot of people in South Palm Beach County and and we did. Uh, there was, you know, several of us that said, let's just let's move forward in it. And I'm surprised how quickly this got up and running and it worked, even dealing with the pandemic. So I, I, I think there's just a group of us that said, let's let's do it. We're all involved. We're all involved in the community like you are. And and it's really worked. And I um, I'm excited. So, Nathan, how do you attract new members? Mostly word of mouth. Um, I think largely through the efforts of Eddie, we got a great core group of guys. Um, I think we've, we've spread the word pretty effectively. Our events, um, our mission is really fun and philanthropy. So we really want the members to have a lot of fun while giving. Uh, we, we are not a typical charity. We're not a typical charity group. Our main event every year, uh, there is no solicitation of any kind. There's no live auction. There's no call to the heart. It is an event that is just pure fun for not only the members of Men Giving Back, but also the CEOs of the the charities who are invited to the event. We want to limit this to 250 members. Now, again, that may be adjustable, but we think as you continue to grow to have much more than that, it, it may become unenjoyable in, in getting it together in some of the events. So, but again, we want to reach our goal of a million dollars. So um, a lot of it's contacts, friends, they're all connecting with each other. The word's getting out now. And so we're trying to decide right now, do we just, we do any advertising or whatever to get it to 250 very quickly, or do we kind of let this go, which it seems like, you know, we picked up 20 members near the end of the year. Um, again, we'll probably pick up another 20 right now. Maybe by the end of the year, we could be at 230 or 240. So, um, you know, we're, we're thinking, do we go through some of the magazines, kind of advertise it a little, get more people involved? Um, it, it, it's really interesting. And then you also have a lot of retired, really retired older people that like the concept of giving $1,500, $2,000, and it goes to all the great charities locally. So we're starting to see a lot of different individuals coming from different places. How do you decide uh, which charities to give to and what does a charity have to do to get a grant? So that, that's actually probably my, my favorite thing to talk about because one of the things that I think makes us unique uh, and my role as head of the grant committee is to help in that analysis 
is we don't um, award charities. We qualify them. So if a charity meets our mission and our criteria in terms of the, the size of the charity and how, how long they've been serving South Palm Beach County, um, then in their application, they've come up with a project, and that's a project that they, they would perform if they were the recipients of a men grant. So what our grant committee does is we qualify them that, yes, this charity meets all of the criteria, they have a good project. So they automatically become a semifinalist. And then each year on September the 1st, if they are chosen as a semifinalist, the way they get notified is they receive uh, this wooden box that we have had made last year and again this year um, in Kiev, Ukraine, by a wood maker there, uh, Mikhail. And inside that box, which has our logo on it, they find a golden ball. And the golden ball has the name of their charity uh, in calligraphy on the golden ball. They then bring the ball to our event. They put it in a big cage. And the head of the school board, blindfolded, picks 12 balls out of the cage. So the 27 balls indicating 27 semifinalists that were delivered, 12 of those balls get selected. If your ball gets selected, then you are now a finalist for a Men Giving Back Award. Those 12 finalists come up on the stage, and each one has 60 seconds to talk about their charity, why it was started, and a little about their project in case they become the big grant winner. Once they've done that, they then put their name up on a big wheel in one of the 12 sectors on the wheel, and then they move on to the next charity. And once all char 12 charities have done that, the wheel is spun, and each spin of the wheel gets awarded a $100,000 grant for men giving back. So the 27 semifinalists who come to the event, any one of them can, can be a large grant winner. And if you're a finalist, you still win a sizable grant. So, so different. It's pretty unique and it's a lot of fun. What has been the most satisfying part of Men Giving Back experience? It's a couple of things. One is the, the, the process that Nathan has developed to give away the money and, and not have a, a staff of individuals trying to determine and who to give the money to. Um, I think that process, we have two events. One's a sporting event and one isn't really enjoying the time and giving away the money. So the two events are very enjoyable. So everybody's really having fun, and we made it just a real fun thing, and not and not to be bogged down with all the with everything else. So I think I think that's number one. Number two is now to see all these charities locally come to our events, see what each charity is really about. You've had a lot of individuals uh, out of the two hundred members we have now. Um, basically take to some of the individual charities in addition to men giving back to. So see, see these charities, how they really are in town, what they do. Uh, Cause usually we're all too busy to really, you have one or two you pick out, but you don't have time to really see all that. So I think, I think those two items are, and then the growth I would say would be the third one that we're probably going to approach 700,000 this year um, and we're getting closer to our million dollar goal, which was really out there uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, but we should be at 700,000 and, you know, giving away 700,000 a million every year is a lot of money every single year. So it's good. It's, it's adding a lot of different things. You have charities coming in. They're dealing with right now, 200 men in a room and that are having a good time. And, and the men are also dealing with all these different charities now. And so it's it's a really diverse group. There's some young individuals, and then you have a lot of real philanthropists in town that give away a lot of their own foundations. So it's kind of bringing everybody together. What's next for Men's Giving Back? You know, where do you where do you find the organization in five years? Where would you like it to go? We need to really have a solid foundation in place, which which we do. We're eighty percent of the way there, but to put that in place so that this kind of like the Women's Impact One Hundred that's around the United States, they have defined goals and they kind of run into perpetuity. So 
it's it's getting a well diversified generational board and having them free flow and to bring in friends over time and let that continue uh you know into time and i think we can do that once this all gets and going everybody's exciting and and so we're, we're enjoying it i don't see the downfalls yet but you know as you got a lot of men together men don't don't want to have committees want the ease of it want to cut a check some want to see you know get involved uh in the individual charities. Um, and then you're going to, you know, then you start to deal with a bunch of men and their different personalities. So, <laughs> so we're, we're trying to feel that out, but it's going really, really well. So how can our community find out about you and, you know, donate and, and get involved or support you or word of mouth to, I think that, you know, word of mouth is so, so powerful. Um, and we have so many amazing listeners here. So how can our community of listeners help you out, follow along and see what men giving back is up to? Probably the easiest way is to go on the website, the homepage of the website, mengivingback.org lists all the members. And if you're in the Boca del Rey, Boynton area, uh, chances are, uh, if you're in the philanthropic community, you know probably most of the names that are on the list. Also, on the website, goes through the methodology of how we choose charities, um, lists our previous winners, our previous semifinalists. So you can get a good feel of the charity and then um, the contact info at mengivingback.org uh, gets through to us. Um, you certainly can list Eddie or my contact uh, on your site and they can reach out to us directly as well. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much. This is a definitely a different kind of charity and I think it's going to spark a lot in our audience. Um, so I appreciate you both coming on. Thanks for thank having you. us.